What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. So there is a Greek word that means victory or overcomer that's used in our text today. It is the Greek word nikao, nikao. Now, if you look at that word, it actually looks very similar to the word that we may know, the word Nike, you know, like the shoes. But what the word means in the, in the context here is that it's referring to Christians who hold fast to their faith, even unto death against the power of foes and temptation and persecution. It's Christians who hold fast to their faith despite opposition. As we continue to look at Revelation chapter 21, we're going to be coming from, from the B part of verse 6, which says, To the thirsty I will give water without cost, from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Friends, as we've walked through this beginning of Revelation chapter 21, we've seen that God has given us, God is going to give us a new place. He's going to give us new promises. He's going to give us a new, his new presence. But now what we see, we see new people that are going to be recipients of this promise. It is, it is the people who are included. And who, who are those people? It is the people that are characterized as nikao, or victorious. Those people that despite the opposition, despite the issues that they may be facing, despite the headwinds that may be coming their way, they stand strong in the faith. They forge forward. They fight for the Lord despite the situation. And it says about them in our language today that they are victorious. Another translation may say overcomer. Friend, are you an overcomer today? Are you victorious in the fight for the Lord? Are you holding fast to your faith despite what people around you or the culture may be saying? Because if you are, you have all these promises that God has shared in this text so far. You have the promise of a new place. You have a promise of his presence. You have all these promises that this place is going to be a place free of fear, free of tears, free of mourning, free of sadness. And you have a promise that God will be with you. What a wonderful promise. What a great promise. What an awesome promise that God has for these new people, these people who are included in his new place. So friends, I want to encourage you to say to Keep up the fight. Keep standing strong. Keep fighting the good fight of faith because God has something wonderful, something magnificent, something grand in store for all his new people who are included. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you talk about the specific people that are included in your promise here. The, the new people who are included in this promise, and it is the ones who are victorious, the ones who hold fast to their faith, the ones who don't let the culture sway or dissuade or distract them, but they hold on to you tightly. Lord, help us to be those people, to stick with you, despite what we may see, what we may hear, or what we may experience. Allow us to hold fast to everything that you have told us in your word, and to lean on it, even when things get tough. Lord, you're an amazing God, and you're worthy, wonderful, and deserving of praise. And we lift you up and we praise your name. We lift up all these prayers in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for continuing to study, study with me through this Revelation 21 series. Come back for the final devotional in this series. God bless.